Well, I'll give you a text or you can send it to me now if you like, um, just of your address and oh, yeah. Um, yeah, pull that ad down. I'll see you tomorrow afternoon, to tomorrow evening. That's good. Easy. Well, mate, I'll, um, I'll see you then. All right, have a good night. See ya. Bye. Well, that couldn't have gone any better to how <laughs> I wanted. Yeah. So, sounds like a pretty genuine seller. Um, if you guys haven't watched the other videos of the, the White 33 that I've just done, then um, go and check them out. But pretty much, it's going to be a similar situation by the sounds of it. Some cosmetic work. Fingers crossed, it is mechanically good. Let me just check. That's probably the address. So, beautiful. I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow evening and we'll be going to look at a skyline. So guys, it's the next day and we're in the afternoon. We're about to head out to Toowoomba. I've got Amber and Chop giving me a hand. Thank you very much, guys. Oh, good. So, uh, I hadn't really actually spoken to the lady selling the car today and I was kind of scared and had the, the FOMO feeling that someone else was gonna buy the car. I couldn't get onto her, but she finally replied to a message saying, yep, all good, we'll, um, I'll see you this afternoon. So we're on our way down to Toowoomba from Brizzy. We're in for a bit of traffic, but we should be out there. Hopefully, I don't think we're gonna catch before the sun goes down. So um, hopefully we'll buy this car and we'll get under some servo lights so I can show you guys what we're looking at. All right, see you in a bit. Just got to this car. Hopefully, going to catch a little bit of light. Let you guys know how we go. So this car, it's um, it's in pretty decent shape, and it's now mine. Where to start? So I'm going to turn this thing around. So this girl's had this thing for a couple of years. It's got four facing plenum, standard turbo, BC coilovers uh, all around. It's super firm. Someone's adjusted the dampening way too firm. Um, it's a Series 2, and it's actually in really good nick. It's only got 160,000 Ks on it. So there's a few little things I'm going to do to the interior just to tidy it up. But, you know, it's straight. There's a few little marks paint-wise on it. Terrible taillights in it. But the body is in really good condition, apart from this guard here that's had a little bingle with a, uh, with a bollard. The gearbox, it's got a heavy duty clutch. The gearbox is really tight, it's got a short shifter. The air conditioning works. There's a little bit of paint damage on the bonnet. There we are, which is pretty standard. First things first, I want to change the steering wheel. I want to dish these seat covers and see what's underneath them. Give it a good clean, but realistically, it's actually quite a tidy car to begin with. All the plastics are really decent. This handbrake boot is actually really good. And I kind of want to see if my other 33, uh, which one's in better condition, because I'm going to rob that if it's uh, better. Also, these gauges, I'm 70% sure they're GDR gauges. Might rob them. They don't actually work in this car at the moment. So I guess they're just sitting there. So there's not really much point to them being there besides looking good. Uh, everything else works. Tidy this up, obviously. Get rid of that. But really, I've got a steering wheel from another one of my cars sitting around, so that's not going to cost me anything. Everything in here is already tidy, uh, so that's the interior. These wheels here, I owned them with another mate that's um, been sitting on a, well, it was on a car that I had ages ago, so all I had to do for this was pay him out. Look, the only real downsides to this car, this guard here. The lady that owned it hit a bollard, so I've lined up a guard, I think, for $60 this afternoon. And then it does have some paint issues as well. Now, this bonnet, it actually looks pretty decent, but someone's already had a go at painting it. So, chances are I'm going to have to paint this thing. But I'm kind of thinking, this is my other 33. Now, I'm not selling this car, at least not in the foreseeable future. And the bonnet on this is actually really good. There's no paint coming off it, but I haven't looked underneath the grime yet to see 
if I can actually save the paint. If I can save the paint, I'm kind of thinking about swapping this to the other one and that way I don't actually have to paint the other one because this car more than likely is going to get a full paint job anyway because I want it to be Mickey Mouse. Another part about this car that I could probably fix is that side skirt there, but I'll see what happens. A little bit of damage is kind of appropriate, well, not appropriate, but I guess forgivable. The GDR wing that's on it, I'm not a huge fan of the way it's painted. I don't know if I really want to be mucking around painting it, um, but we'll see what happens there. And then I've got these taillights, which are all their Alteza glory. Now, to fix that, I've actually picked up some some of this stuff. It's called nightshades, and basically it's like a, a spray-on film that you can spray over uh, lenses and plastic. So I'm going to make those lights look red, which I think will look a whole lot better than what's on at the moment. And should go a long way in making it look like a uh, pretty decent, tidy car. So, there's a few more parts, like these weather shields. I reckon they're really cool. I'm going to rob them for my car. Uh, and then fix the boost leak. And I think we're going to be on a bit of a winner. So the first thing I need to do now is I'm actually going to jack the car up, put these wheels on it and get a bit of a better feel for how this car is going to look. Then I want to go over the paint properly, see if there's any other bits that actually need painting that I can do just like I did in the other 33. And then we'll start to address the interior and change the steering wheel, blah, 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 paint those tail lights. I think we should just about get it all done today. All right, guys, let's get going. Okay, so I've got the tail lights out and separated from their covers. Basically, Everything there gets covered by the cover, so I can just spray it how it sits. I've never used this stuff before, but we'll see how it comes out. Shake it. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. <laughs> All right, what's your bet about this stuff? It's going to look great. Oh my gosh. Night shade. Is that dry? It's just water on the inside, yay. Now, is there anything I need to tape up? It's all covered. Wait, is this an indicator? It is, hey. Leave it. Wait. Um, Steve said he can do it, but not for a few weeks at least. Yeah. All right, so the lights have been night shaded and they come out pretty good. I think it'll be a million times better than uh, the lights that were in it already. Now I want to start playing with the interior a little bit. I've got that steering wheel that wants to come out and I'm going to swap it for this one here. Um, it's just a bit bigger. So I think that's a bit of an improvement on it. And then I'm going to pull the driver's seat out of it because it is in a little bit better condition than my car and I want to keep that one for myself. But aside from that, it's coming along very nicely and very quickly. So much better. Okay, so I've painted these tail lights and I'm half happy with them. Basically, this bit's cool, this bit's cool, but this middle bit, I think it's just a little bit too much red. It's in the middle here, so I'm gonna buy some more of that nightshade stuff and make that a darker color. And hopefully it'll be enough to break it up a little bit. But with the lights on, it looks pretty sick. So I actually reckon that'll look really cool. And it's a massive improvement for the small price of about $18. So I'm happy with that. What's next? All right guys, so where are we up to? I've got this, uh, some more black nightshade. That's the stuff we need. And we're gonna repair this, uh, this garnish. Now, repair, I mean repaint, because I thought it was just a little bit too much red. So, gonna do this first. Then moving on to some of the interior stuff. Chop's actually working on the other 33. Um, like the car that I'm keeping. And there's some interior parts in here I want to swap out for it because they're in a little bit better condition. How you going, mate? Oh, mate. Look at that freshly shaved bloody neckline. What's that? You, you're like, you got a two-tone neck. <laughs> Two tone neck. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> so, we've taken those gauges out, got most of this back together. Chop's just tidying up some wires here so that we can get the um, steering surround to clamp down nicely. But the car's looking really good. Wow, he's even got, look at the socks. Come on, man. <sighs> Come on, man, don't film me like this. So, guys, it's a new day here. I, uh, 
I did have another front guard for this Skyline, but I've decided that it's a bit easier to actually get this dent removed uh, via PDR. So this is where we're at right now. Carl here is from AAA Dents PDR, and he's come out this morning to do a push to paint on this panel, which means, well, Carl, can you explain that, mate? Well, it's just um, push to paint, where it's like get prepared for painting, so it's not getting any bog in it or anything, just whiz it, primer it, paint it. Sweet. Around about 90% about to perfect. Awesome. It should be all good. So there might be a little bit of work needed paint-wise, but the dent should be more or less um, removed from it. Sweet. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? Is it working now? Yes. Okay. So now that um, so got the the dent in the front uh, front guard fixed. When that happened, the headlight actually snapped, and this piece here, the mount, actually came off. Now I've already started doing it and forgot that I should be filming. So what I've got is a soldering iron and a piece of plastic that broke off it, and I'm basically just melting it back together. And that's my version of plastic welding. I think it's working okay. Sand it back where the, uh, the paint cracks were. Run some uh, filler primer over it. And we should just be about ready to actually put some color down. And that'll be this thing ready. Oh, you can see where the, the PDR dent was pulled out. It's still not perfect, but I've got another guard to go with it. The bonnet is over there being painted and chops getting into this now he's polished this bit here and it looks unreal the rest of the car's gonna come up man actually let's have a look cause i want to see my nice. camera in that whale's ass can you see swells in it it's hard because the um no the screen i can't no follow the we'll follow the leds i can see cracks look at that you broke my phone right now. Okay. That was good. Have a look at that. I'm hoping that camera can pick up just how good this thing looks. It is phenomenal. He's done some work in the engine bay, dressing up some of the trims. And I'm stoked with it. See if we can get a good look at the interior while it's in the shed. Yeah, that looks epic. Oops. Sort of running out of daylight today, but what we've got left to do is wet sand this bonnet because I've done some painting on it. Wet sand the bonnet, then we're going to buff it up and that can go in the car. And then once that's done, we can get some really good photos of this thing and it's pretty much ready for the market. Well guys, this is the uh, the last time you're going to see this R33. Let's have a look at the inside of this thing. Interior is close to immaculate. So the new steering wheel put in. The rear seats are mint. This car, in years to come, is going to be very, very expensive. Tail lights got painted, they look a million times better. Just every angle of this car looks freaking sweet. And it's off to an awesome new owner who's gonna love it. It was a good journey. Let's get some cool pictures.